Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jen and welcome back to 60 Second Psychology, where I talk about a theory, concept, or psychological phenomenon in just 60 seconds. Today's topic, the bystander effect. If you witnessed a person in trouble right in front of you, you'd take action to help the person, right? Maybe not. The bystander effect is a strange psychological phenomenon that's been observed in groups of people. It's characterized by the unlikeliness of a group to help an individual in distress. The bigger the group of witnesses, the less likely people in the group will be to help. Here's why. Studies by psychologists Bib Latane and John Darley found that the amount of time it takes witnesses to offer or seek help when a stranger is in need increases when there are more witnesses nearby. Latine also found that the percentage of witnesses that offer help decreases the more witnesses that are around. His 1969 study found that 70% of people would help a woman in distress when they were the only witness, but only about 40% offered assistance when other people were also present. The bystander effect could have two major contributing factors. First, diffusion of responsibility, which means that because there are others around, individuals don't feel as much pressure to take action. Second, social acceptance may have a role. When other witnesses fail to react to an incident, individuals often take this as a social signal that a response is not needed or not appropriate. To summarize, emergencies are often chaotic and confusing. When more witnesses are around, we may often look to others to react or determine the appropriate behavior. The good news is that recently, psychologists have found that if one person in a crowd does help a person in distress, then everybody else in that crowd is also more likely to help. Have you ever been in a bystander situation? Were you the first to act? Did you hold back? Or were you inspired by someone else swinging into action? Another thing, if you're ever that person in distress, try to focus on one person in the crowd. Lock eyes and ask for help. Often this will spur the crowd into action. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!